John. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much. Thanks, Appreciate man. it. Cheers. Much, Thank you. You're cool. Yep. Heads. Heads is cool. But it's tails. We'll have a bat. You need to pick yourself right up. His cool tap. He took a wicket first ball last time. This time there's a run out opportunity, but now they'll get a run. As that throw was a bit too spicy for Chris Robinson. Well, I'm glad to see Chris Robinson at least put his hands up to try and stop it. I can't believe he ducked away last ball that previous over. Well, oh, Ted, is this off that arm or the glove? He's gone. He's been given caught behind. And so, and Dani, he knows it or not, he's going to be gone here. Yeah, I think he's gone and he has to go off. It's a perfect bounce. So Kultar's quicker than you think. He yeah. gets it through. He follows you. The only quick That's out. Doesn't seem like it's off the arm. Over number three. This one's whipped away and it'll get to the fence. Four runs. And this one with a bit of overspin. It's up. It's in the air. It's another chance for that man. And this time he takes it. Well, he takes your advice. He faces the ball. Chris Robinson goes back. That was hanging a long, long time. And that's the overspin. The extra bounce that Mulder gets, just fooling Smith slightly. So he's going to be the second wicket to fall. It's 20 for two. This one's pitched up a little bit. He goes after it and he gets enough. Gets the pressure relieving boundary. Conrad Greenshields rolls the dice and comes up a four. This time he gets a fair piece of it. And this is going to go all the way. Maximo! Bold him. And it's a... Pretty good pitched up delivery, and there's a salute from Best. And that was his best work, wasn't it? Conrad Greenshields just tried to muscle it down the ground, maybe came in a touch, went through the gate, and Awaris lose their skip up. It's 39 for three. Just work to the leg side. Two's the call, but I don't think it's there. Welcome to T10 cricket. You ain't. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gone. That. Did that get him straight in the side of the head? I don't know if it was side of the pitch, uh, but. Dodsey's had to just take evasive action. I thought that might go all the way for four overthrow the way it reared. Oh, this is a pretty well, well struck shot down the ground as a boundary sorely needed and it comes. I think it'll have to be a good substitute. Anyway, this is up and it's absolutely smashed down to the ground. Machado, he has taken the reins out as Maximo. This is ups in the air. It's a chance. And taken. So McCulloch this time doesn't have to move. Maps Doman tries to go down the ground, but he couldn't quite get the elevation or the timing to get it over Carson, who holds on to a pretty spicy one. A very handy one for the Irish club. It's 57 for four. Certainly taking this one. This time goes up and out of the ground. Maximo. Oh. That's no ball. And that's going to go miles as well. Seven up time. Maximo. I don't know, he goes again and loses the handle again. And he's going to have the same result again. Maximo has 14 without a ball being bowled. Now he's going to go after this. It does get into the gap. And I think this will be four. It is. So that's basically 18 off one ball for it. Now button. he gets banged. And that's authoritative from Machado. He goes large. Maximo. Coulter's yeah. back and he breaks through. And De Silva couldn't really do too much in an attacking way during his time there. Coulter right on target. Perfect start to the ninth as CIYMS try to pull this one back. It's 93 for five. Oh, shot. But out. Well, he took it on, had to reach from Mabin Tariq. That's a great bit of catching though. That's match at the skipper. It goes goalkeeper style up and to his right, and he grabs it two handedly. Oh, he's bowled him. Oh, what a shot. Coulter gets four, and he's on a hat trick, and the stumps are a mess. Miguel Stoneman tries to give him some room, and Coulter spot on target this time once again. Uh, has he not seen the ball there? Well, have watch have a closer look at this, Vinny. He went to back away, but it's almost as if he got caught in two miles. Watch. It's a half hearted one. I mean, I think he's thinking dab. It's Coulter on a hat trick. Oh, maybe a wide. Yeah. Just took off. Sometimes you don't know your own pace and bounce. He tries to go downtown, but I think he might have found uptown. Should be caught and taken. Yeah, match it. Doesn't drop too many in year 2023. Machado will be kicking himself here because he does get it on the full, but he can't get the timing. Good innings nonetheless, but he'll be the eighth wicket to fall. 99 for eight with three balls remaining. Last ball of the 10th. 
Oh, that's well bowled. And I uh, don't think it's caught, but it will be no run. So Puchimata able to contribute a single and a Warash. It's an interesting way they got there, but they do get the 100 plus on the board. 101 for eight will be the final score after 10 overs. This is stroke through the gaps. A really nice cricket shot by Jason van der Merwe. This is a Gundy ball, really, from our first up. And Doherty knows what to do with it. A boundary to start the second. Well, this time it's the top edge. It's going to fly miles. Is it staying in the field of play? It's a ridiculous catch. How has he caught that? Mubin Tariq, he has run like Forrest Gump coast to coast. And he has somehow plucked that one out of the sky. Incredible catch from Oerash to get their first wicket in ECL cricket. That's and 15 for one. Little dab, and this has gone as well. He had two in two. Much easier this time for Mubin Tariq. It was just a little dab, wasn't it, from Matchett? Tried to get it around or over the fielder. He didn't either. And see how YMS lose two in two balls. 15 for two. Hattrick ball now for Stoneman. Oh, doesn't quite get the full pull shot out. He's forced to hustle for it. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of energy right now out in the field. That's exactly what you want to see when you're defending a total of 101. Cracks this one pretty well. Picks out the field. He's overcommitted here. That would have been gone. Had hit one stump, but couldn't. Close, Vinny. That was very close. It was. He just didn't get the message in time that it wasn't going to happen. Now full toss, and it's pumped away. One bounce, not a good delivery from Stoneman. He's... Nice little flick away, not a good ball. One thing I will say about Awarish, their control hasn't been there with the ball. They've gotten a couple of, of breaks in this power play. He goes after this, and he absolutely slaughters it. Maximo! Quick one, but well placed. I think this will beat the fielder, it does. So, Tariq. Yeah, just offering a bit too much width, I think, with that quicker one. Cut away. Now we're going to have a run out. He went with a hit. And, yeah, he's going to make doubly sure of it for six. We'll have a look at it on the replay. You see, does he knock the bails off the first time here? Yeah. He does. But he actually, he knocks them off, and then he realises. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And so that'll be the end of the fifth over. The score is 43 for four. Now it's a leg side hoik, and this one's out of the ground. Maximo! And a couple of big ones. This one's misjudged, and it's oh. going to be six. Maximo! Nick Smith thought that was going to carry. It did, in fact, did more than carry off the top of the fingertips. We might remember that. Two metres in from the ring, and carry it over your head. If he's sitting on the ring there, Vinny, that's out. That's a simple this catch. Is something I have noticed quite a few times that your instinct when you see a slight miss hit is to rush in as an outfielder. Oh, this shot. one's hit so hard. This is going to be four. Better length, but it probably will cost him four. Gets away from the fielder into the gap. Now things are rolling towards CIYMS. Another boundary to best. He takes it on, he wins. Shot. Really good shot under pressure from Carson. Goes Maximo. Bowled him. And so Best goes for 23. Big fist pump from Conrad. Watch your rotator cuff there. But Machado gets the wicket that they want. And that'll make it 86 for five. See how YMS will lead 16 off the last over. But well, Machado's had a pretty good game. He delivers with the last ball of the ninth. And he bowls him. He gets him first ball. And Werash on the verge of a memorable victory. They're not there yet, but that helps. As Stoneman hits the timber. And it's 87 for six. Well, will he get one? He won't. He could have a run out. He will have a run out. And he's already walking. So, yeah, you can see what Kultz is thinking there. He's thinking, look, I haven't got the boundary, but at least want to get off strike and try and put the set batter there. But maybe Carson McCulloch doesn't think he can get to the keepers then. Just flicks it back to his captain, and he's gone by almost a metre or so. And so the wheel's falling off late in the piece for CIYMS. That makes it 87 for seven. 
And they won't get more than probably a single here. Will they get a four? They get a four. Well, so here's the last ball of match three. And they'll just get a single. What a great result for Uerash. They will explode with excitement. And they will take the points. The final score is Uerash of Portugal 101, CIYMS 93. A fantastic moment for the Uerash Cricket Club. They win their first ever match in the European Cricket League, the Champions League of Cricket.